Hey guys, welcome back and uh, thanks for sticking around and uh, we already reached the last part of the series for uh, this uh, treatment of mange and uh, I, really, I really appreciate you being here. So uh, before we proceed with the video, I would like to uh, say uh, my personal greetings to uh, all of those who are celebrating uh, the month of Ramadan. Ramadan Karim to all of you and uh, may Allah bless you and your and your family and everyone uh, everyone with you all right so again last part of the series for uh, treatment of mage let's go on yeah this uh, video is to uh, um, finalize our uh, treatment for uh, the mage for our uh, four farms so I am here on the first farm that we made the treatment and uh, just want to show you how uh, the animals are doing after we already uh, finished the treatment. Okay, so now I'm outside the cage. Um, I don't want to go inside and disturb them. So I'm just gonna zoom in and uh, try to focus the uh, animals and uh, show you um, how the uh, treatment has uh, um, uh, made a great impact to their uh, health. So now, as you can see, the animals are already groomed. So the farmers already uh, trimmed their uh, wool. And uh, notice the faces of the animals, the ears. So that's where uh, the uh, mites um, before um, was so as you can see their faces the wolves are back so the ears there's no more crusting no more um, scabs so this is the first uh, confinement where we uh, made the treatment so it received a total of four uh, treatments okay let me just focus some more of the animals look at that look at their uh, faces the bridges of the nose the ears again so here I am now on the a second confinement so notice again the sites where the mites were before so as you can see the wolves on their faces are back and also on the ears Okay, let's proceed to the next. So here we are on the uh, third confinement. So here it's very clear. You can see the wool on their faces have grown back, and uh, they are more. Uh, uh, they look healthier now compared to before when uh, they have the mange infestation. So also their wools are trimmed. Look at them, and also those inside the confinement, you can see them clearly, they look a lot healthier. Alright, so that's the full, uh, finalized farm number one of our mange treatment. We'll head on to farm number two. See you guys there. Okay, so we are on farm number two. So we're here to uh, make sure that they are recovering from uh, the uh, mange infection. So we are at our final visit and uh, we, we're not giving any medication now. So this is just to uh, simply check how they're all doing. Okay, so we'll stay on the outside of the fence so that we don't disturb the animals. Let me show them to you. So have a look. Okay, so keep your eyes on the sheep specifically. So as you can see, their faces, their wools have grown back. And their ears, okay, let me just zoom further. And look at their ears. Those uh, scabs are no longer there. Although there are still traces, but uh, majority or at least uh, 
I can say 90% of the animals, they no longer have the uh, mange. Okay, so if there, there will be any uh, emerging case, then we of course, we need to uh, give the treatment. But uh, for now, we're done uh, visiting this farm. So this is our final look at them. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, if there will be any uh, more cases, then we are here to uh, attend to them. Okay, so we're glad that uh, this is done. So we're gonna close this uh, for now and uh, we'll head on to the next farm. So see you in there. Hey guys, good day. We are at uh, farm three. Okay, so this is the nudged uh, breed of uh, sheep. Okay, so this is our uh, last and final visit for this farm. And uh, yeah, so what happened now is uh, I'm looking at them. So uh, the farmer already mixed the animals together. The ones that we uh, made treatment first and the ones that were second and third. So they're already all in one, uh, um, what I'm saying, trying to say is they're already um, together. So anyway, that's not a problem because uh, most of the animals are already on their healing phase. So uh, um, you'll notice uh, later I'll zoom in that uh, their uh, wool in the face and in the ears are growing back already so uh, again like the procedure that we'll be doing for the, uh, the rest of the farms so if there will be any cases that will uh, arise then we'll just address them and uh, you know give it uh, the uh, medicine for mange but hopefully the infection will go away so as they uh, full, as they uh, go and uh, you know recover fully so for now, um, we'll leave them already and then if, if the owner will report that there will be any uh, case and we're just here, um, one call away. So let me show you this, uh, um, these animals, this group right here. I'll show you uh, those that are uh, fully recovered and those that are on the process of recovery. Let's go. So there are a few animals, you'll see they have uh, their wool still uh, um, on the recovery process. So that one on the, this one right here, this one right here, and the one beside, beside it. But the rest, as you can see, the one in front, this one, and then this one right here, this group, I look at them. So they are, um, so I'm happy to say that they are already recovered and uh, comparing them from uh, the first uh, previous uh, treatment um, they're not as healthy looking as they are now okay so again this one is uh, um, already mixed with the first batch second and third batch of the animals that we treat Let's uh, head on and see the next confinement. The uh, mix, uh, mix already of the first, second, and third batches that we already um, are uh, finished treating with the uh, mange. So notice their faces and their ears. So let me just zoom in further if I can. There you go. So their uh, wool on the faces are fully grown already so some of the animals are still uh, on the recovery uh, part but they are getting there so okay so I'm uh, I'm so happy to see them on on this condition so again they're healthier they're uh, bigger than uh, before Okay, so that's that's the impact that uh, the treatment can uh, do if uh, they don't have any disturbances on their appetite. So if they don't have any uh, uh, infestation, especially uh, mites, then they can feed and uh, you know rest well. Hello, marhaba. Good morning. Salam alaikum. How are you all? Um, we are at farm number four, and uh, we're only here to visit uh, the animals just to check on them. And see how uh, they are recovering to uh, make sure that they are okay 
and make sure that uh, the mange is not spreading anymore. So let's uh, let me show you the animals and uh, I'll show you how great the progress we made for this farm. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna focus them. Um, I'm not gonna go near them because uh, they'll just run away from me. Okay, so here they are. I'll uh, show you the before video for uh, this farm. Okay guys, so this is uh, prior to uh, giving the medication for this farm. Look at this. Look at the, the, the nose and the head and the ears. So this is day one without uh, medication. Alright, so uh, we'll check the recovery of this animal and see whether it will respond to our medication. Alright, so let's start. Okay guys, so we have now this group. Um, day one, not uh, given any medications yet. So I already showed you one of the animals in this uh, group. So, as they say, mashallah, finally, finally done with uh, treatment here. Mashallah, mashallah, look at them. They are now um, looking healthier, fatter, and uh, you know, um, they look better from uh, two months back. So this is just, this is just one of the groups. I'll show you the rest of the groups. Let's go. So this is the second group um, on a different shed. So this, these are the ones with uh, the smaller babies before, if uh, you notice on the video. So now uh, the lambs are bigger. There are new lambs also. But look at them. So I'll zoom further if I can. So here it is. So notice their faces and their ears. All are gone. Those um, uh, scars in the scabs. They're no more to be seen. So alhamdulillah. Okay, so this is a, a different group now. So there you go. Okay, let's head on to the, the, another group. Okay, so here we go. So no more traces of uh, minge or mites on their faces. So no more scars, no more scabs. So the face wool is completely um, has completely grown back. All right, so. We're finally done with this farm. Thank you, and we'll head on to another farm. See you there. Hey guys, uh, uh, thank you for uh, watching this video and for sticking around until the end of the, this series, this three-part series about mage treatment. And uh, before we end up this series, I would like to say that, uh, you know, um, what we've learned uh, from uh, this experience. So firstly, of course, we need to know how the uh, parasites live what's their life cycle, so that we know what we're dealing with, so you know uh, exactly how to uh, you know, eliminate them from our host, which are the sheep, in this case, the, uh, the uh, animals. And then secondly, of course, from the experience that we uh, had, we learned that you have to be physically able and physically fit to handle, uh, you know, as you can see on the other uh, parts of the video or the series, we've been running, sitting, and crouching. So I guess you have to be physically fit to handle, uh, you know, this uh, kind of uh, large-scale treatment. And then uh, thirdly, of course, we have to have the participation or cooperation of the owner and the farmer. Um, we need them to be, uh, you know, uh, with us while the animal, while we are doing the treatment. Why? Because um, it's essential that they feed the animal, they care for the animal well, they clean their sheds and their confinement so that uh, these parasites will quickly you know go away and the animals will recover as well all right so those are the three i think the three main uh, lessons that we learned from this uh, from this series okay and lastly guys so if if uh, you are a livestock owner or livestock or livestock um, racer 
if you are going to purchase or acquire any animals from unknown or known sources, just uh, isolate them first for the next uh, 14 days. Just for you to, to uh, make sure that the animal isn't carrying any uh, diseases that may affect the rest of your herd. So that's very important. Do not forget it, okay? And uh, as you can see, it takes a while before you can eliminate this uh, kind of uh, infestation. So let's be careful when uh, purchasing and uh, buying new animals from other sources. Well, anyway, um, if uh, you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and uh, please leave a thumbs up um, below. It will help my channel, you know, move forward so that others can also uh, have a look at it and see it. And uh, if, uh, the, if others, if you have other people who are livestock owners or livestock racers, this video may help them so share it to them okay and uh yeah for from me here and for the from the rest of uh, my helpers and those people who are involved in this series uh we'd like to say thank you and uh, i would like to say thank you to them as well uh, you know who you are so uh thank you very much and uh if you want to see more of my videos there will be a link uh, after this and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.